In this lesson, we will cover Boolean operation in detail. These are weekly lessons. However, if you want to be binge watch all the course videos, then join my early bird membership plan. So without further ado, let's start. In this lesson, we will cover the Boolean tool. Now, just like other 3D software, Adobe Substance 3D model also have Boolean. Now, here how the Boolean actually works. So, first of all, let's click on this one. Right click on it. And you will see that there is a Boolean option here next to the, uh, the visibility. So, when you click on it, you will see there are three different type of Booleans. So, there is a union, then there is intersection, and there is subtraction. So, if I will click on the union right now, so you will see this one has been uh, kind of like uh, turned into green, okay? And if I press apply now, so what it will do is that it will just create this object like this, okay? And it is more like a like a kind of a duplicate copy of of that of that. It doesn't make any sense because I have only selected one item. If I have not selected only one item, let's delete this one, okay? And let's undo instead of deleting that. Now, if I have selected this and this, and then right-click on it, and then after that, I apply the union, the both will turn green. And if I will press apply, so it will perform some action of like uh, it, and that action is the boolean operation and now you can see that there is a duplicate copy being made if i move this here you will notice that this is the result and you can see they are nicely boolean uh, like union to together means like they are kind of joined together and this is the original one you can still work with this Okay, you can go still go here. Okay, or you can uh, like cancel uh, this. Okay, by pressing done. Okay, and when you press done, the boolean will be the boolean operation will be canceled. I don't want this. I will delete it. And if instead of uh, only two, if I will select three or like uh, all of them, and then right click on it, and then press uh, the union. Okay and then apply and once uh, the apply is done I can right click press uh, and then let's first move this part and then I can right click and press done and here you will see all of them are being joined together okay like unioned together you can see the welding mark here so they are it's a, it's a one part and very nicely uh, it has been uh, like kind of uh, union or merge as you can see. So let's see this part. Now, let's see what we have the other one. So I will right click here now again. And this time I will choose the intersection. Now when I will press intersection, so this time it will turn into purple. And when I will press apply, it will apply some operation. Okay. And when I'm done, I will press hit here. So it seems like nothing happened, but if you will click on that object which was uh, you which you use for intersection and move it, you will see that there is another object here. Now, what is this nice looking shape? This shape is basically the you can say overlapping part or intersecting part of this polygon and that square which was here like suppose if i will undo this whole process to bring back uh, everything so notice that here these two when they are uh, like wherever they are overlapping okay that part will be remained okay and other parts will be removed however you will see this capsule is, is away from this polygon and it's not overlapping with it. That's why there was no effect on it. If I move this on top, okay, and then right click, 
and then apply. And now if I'll press done and move this away, so you will see the capsule which was also overlapping is there as well. Not only this part, but the uh, like the capsule is there. Okay. So what else you can do here is that instead of uh, let's uh, right click and press done. I can instead of uh, two, like uh, one, I can select this uh, and this and then apply the intersection. Okay. And done. And you will notice that nothing happened. Because for the intersection, you have to select the part on uh, the, you have to select that play tool which you want to be an effector, like a uh, like a generator, like an uh, like a uh, boolean operator. So this, uh, for example, is now my boolean operator. So if I will right click here and go to the intersection and then apply and press done. So if I will move this uh, away, so whatever. Uh, intersection or overlapping object uh, or like whatever play tools were overlapping with this tool with this object are now on the screen. So you have to select that play tool which is basically an operator. So this time uh, we selected this and whatever was overlapping with this uh, is remained on this uh, like scene uh, like in the viewport and others are gone. You can delete this one if you don't want it and you can work on the others so it's up to you so let's undo this i hope this is clear bring it back and I press done now the next one we have here is the uh, subtract now subtract if i uh, click on it it will by selecting this it will turn into red so if i will press apply and press done and if I move this, you will see wherever it was, it has created a, like a, a subtraction there. Okay. So now this is subtracted here as well. What if I will not choose this one? Okay. Let's undo this. I choose this and then right click on it and you subtract and then apply. Then done. Now if I move this, you can see that it has subtracted this part of the polygon and this part of the capsule. Okay, so let's see how it will affect multiple objects. Like suppose if I select this, this one, if I've selected this one, okay, or if I select this and this and then right click on it and after that if I will click on enable subtract uh, mode they both will turn into red if I will press apply press done and this time now if I will move them you will see whatever were selected are not affected these two were not aff uh, are not affected uh, affected because they both were a boolean operator this was not the boolean operator and uh, this got affected okay so the, uh, I hope this uh, subtraction boolean is also clear. Now boolean works really good uh, with um, like symmetries and with uh, like uh, link and repeat. So let's try different experiment here. So let's uh, uh, like remove this. Okay. And let's take this one here. And I want to resize it. I will go to my warp tool. Okay, make it bigger. Hardness all the way up. The space bar and move it to resize it. Now, when this is done, so I will double click here. And once I have double clicked here, I will create a like a tool, okay.
really here on a new layer okay once this is created I will create again a new layer and this time I will just make it a little bigger or maybe I can choose a like mechanical stamp here uh, any sort of a stamp here yeah but this course uh, looks good okay let's reset its uh, orientation okay also up here and I want to rotate it just like this a little bit rotation okay and I will create this one also on a new layer okay, I have this okay I will put this here somewhere and This I will put it over here. Also, I will make it a little bigger. And this one maybe a little smaller. So now once our objects are created, what we can do is that, like suppose this one I want it to be Boolean. So I will right click on it. And before linking it, I will go to the Boolean and make it subtraction. Okay, and then I will select this one, right click on it, and make this one union. Okay, so once they are uh, become subtraction and union, then I can select both of them, right click, make them link. Okay, once they are linked, I can uh, duplicate them by pressing D mm -hmm. and moving them around the screen, mm -hmm. just like this. And then make different copies of it. So once this is created, what I can do is that I can select uh, this, okay, for the subtraction boolean, and these two, okay, for the bo uh, like unit subtraction, okay. So I will right click uh, on these, and then press apply. And press done. And once this is done, what I can do is that I can remove all these, or I can select this result, move it up, and you can see that the ones that are subtracted uh, are now subtracted from here, like these are red ones. And the green ones, which are these, are the, uh, are uh, like has been but more like union to it. They are merged to it with the union. So this is how you can easily create um, like Boolean operation using the instances. So let's uh, cre create a new uh, file here and let's see how we can apply the Boolean using the repeat. So for example, I will create a cylinder here Okay, and let's reset the cylinders settings here and then apply some paper to it and fill it to it. Now here what I will do before applying the radial symmetry on it, I can simply apply this, okay, pressing spacebar and then going to the selection tool, I will right click on it, okay, then on, like, turn on my repetition. Okay, as much I want, I can turn, uh, I can increase the count. Okay. And then I will start moving it. And you can see that it is moving the objects. Okay. Now, if I will go to the clay tool. So basically, this clay tool is now part of one of uh, these objects. Okay. Like suppose if I will create something here as a... Uh, kind of a, uh, you can say, stamps. Let's see. Let's create uh, this stamp. OK. 
capture and then move it here somewhere so now as I have this so I will uh, go to a new layer okay before creating this I will make a new layer right click here and go to the radial symmetry okay so it will uh, be uh, like duplicated on the radial scale because my, the, the, the like symmetry is on maybe I can increase uh, the number of it okay and also I can turn off the repetition because I don't want to work on the repetition I only want to work on the symmetry here so when I'm uh, like satisfied with this okay I can simply press the uh, space bar and this will be created okay now let's go back to the selection uh, mode here and this time what I will do I will right click on these which are created and I will turn off the symmetry from here and I can turn on the repetition so it will be created on the other side okay now what I can do is that I can select this okay right click on it and go to the boolean actions okay and choose subtraction for example press apply and once the boolean is done it is uh, working on it right now done and now I can I click press done here and now if I move them or delete them you can see how they all have been booleaned so with the repetition also you can have some good result so i hope you have understood how the booleans uh, work and you have uh, you might have easily comprehended this whole thing like how to add subtract intersect and how to work with the booleans um, using linking and uh, repeat and also some uh, like uh, symmetry in the next lesson we will learn how we can import external or um, externally created uh, 3d meshes 3d models if you find my videos interesting and useful then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses if you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe also Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Amazon.com. The links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them because this will affect my watch time hours, which is quite demotivating for me. And uh, if you want me to create, continuously create these new courses, so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online. Also like them and share them. So everyone take care, stay connected and see you in the next class.